Good morning, Grace United and my peoples. Uh, we have, we're going through the Bible together. We're reading through scripture together. If you'd like to join us, you can do so on the app or the website. But the verse, verses, there's two that stuck out to me today. I'm always cheating. I'm always like, there's two verses instead of a verse. Is Genesis chapter 46, verse 3 and verse 26. And together they say this. God is speaking. He says, I am God, the God of your father, the voice said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there in Egypt I will make your family into a great nation. And it says the total number of Jacob's direct descendants who went with him to Egypt, not counting his son's wives, was 66. Was 66. And the thing that brought, brought this to me is that God takes us down through burdens to bring our blessing. He takes us down through burdens to bring our blessing. So God told Jacob, he says, I need you to take your entire family down to Egypt. And we know that when he went to Egypt, as was prophesied earlier, they were going to go through slavery. They were going to have a hard time. But it's through this going down and through this hard time that God says, out of this, I will bring your blessing. And the thing that caught my attention is the number. Because he says in verse 26 that there were 66 of his descendants that went down into Egypt with him. Numbers chapter 1 tells us how many of his descendants God brought out of Egypt, which is 600 and 3,550. So God, God said, I promise I'm going to make you into a great nation. And so God turned his 66 into 600,000 by having him go down, go through a burden, and out of that comes a blessing. And isn't this the good news? The good news that God has for us and that God has for you is this. That God himself, God incarnate, Jesus the Christ, came down, went through burden, went through life, went through rejection, went through torture, went through the crucifixion and death. And out of that came the resurrection which is the victory over all of the things that separated him from us. And so not only did he, did he get his blessing, which is us, but he brought, like, like Jacob, God brought out a, a larger number that went in. Through Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, God brings out everyone who believes in his name. Millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions. So because Jesus went through the grave, millions and millions and millions and millions and millions have come out of the grave as well. Through burden comes blessing. Let's take this back to God in prayer. Father, we thank you that you make us promises. We thank you that you say for those who trust in you, you will bring blessing. And Father, I thank you that when we are going through our burden, we don't go through it alone. You promised to go through it with us. You are there in the lion's den with us. You are there in the fiery furnace with us. So, Father, we are thankful that you bring blessing from burden. And we will trust you when we go through the valley of the shadow of death. It's in the name of your son that all of God's people said, amen. If you'd like to join us, go to graceunitedlr.com and jump on the app or just download it from the website. We'll see you soon. Bye.